the Duncan runaway play of the day. We will try to size it all up to see which play it is going to be. Here's Cam Brown starting it off for Team Trotte. That was nice early no, in the yeah, day. Defense to offense, and he, uh, he really got the party going here in Pittsburgh, didn't he? So that's one that certainly you have to think about. I love where he put that puck, obviously, after the great speed in the defense. So it was a little bit of everything there. By the way, goal of the day, 3,000 bucks. So some cash on the way for one of these players. Guess what? Mark Hawk has two opportunities because he had that one. Beauty of a goal on a penalty shot. I love the hands. It's tough to beat Toit, it really is. He's one of the, I mean, they're all good, but Toit's exceptional. And he gave him everything he had. He gave him the whole toolbox there and was able to score. And he wasn't done. He's got another one in the running, and this is as precise a wrist shot as you can find in this game. There's no daylight there. Parker Milner looked like he had the angle, and then top shelf, Mark Hawk, another candidate for play of the day. Going with Auk, and I'll be specific, it's the second one to me. The mitts on that guy and on the penalty shot. Auk, he's the winner for me this week. Yeah, Auk's the winner for me. I'm okay. going to go with the exact same one that uh, that you described, that penalty shot where he really got the goaltender to sell out and gave him everything he had because that's what he had to do to score that goal against one of the top goaltenders in three ice. So I'm going to give it to him as well. If Gizmo agrees with us, he had two chances there, a couple of nice plays, <laughs> and a nice consolation prize too, even though he lost to the final. Are you going with Auk? Yeah, I'm going with Locke, guys. I mean, listen, I think today was a breakout game for him as well, too, or a breakout weekend, I guess, if you will, a, a series of games. I think the the performance by him and just that that steadiness that he has shown is is a, is a steady factor for his group. Maybe they didn't come away with the win, but I really like everything about this hockey player, not only the emotional side, but like you guys said, the mitts that he has, and to be able to do that against a goaltender who is still on his head week after week after week, I think it says something for the, the elevated skill level it takes to put that past the guy. All right. Congratulations, Mark Ock, 3,000 bucks in his pocket.